Hi folks, this is Dave Schmidt. I'm here doing a recording on the interview here that I'm going to have with Michael Lee Hill tomorrow night on the radio program. Uh, as Michael's not available on video right now, but this is just basically an introduction to what is there. And we're going to be discussing a lot of the things that are going on in his life, our acquaintance, our coming together, and what we're seeing developing. And so, because Michael has some really unique experiences. So, Michael, why don't you share with us a little bit about what it is you want to talk about on the radio program tomorrow night? Well, thank you for having me again. And uh, I'm excited to share. Actually, there's a lot of new information uh, and about who the mound builders are in my hometown of East Lake, Ohio. And uh, as you know, East Lake is the home of the mound builders. But I'm got a lot of new info um, that I'm going to share in the interview. It's too much to get into in, in this introductory thing, but uh, uh, other than that, just, you know, we can get into uh, where we think all this is leading for humanity in the future and how it ties into the dragon families. And as it's called in the Native American Indian culture, it's considered to be the Serpent Clan, the Rainbow Warrior Serpent Clan. And Serpent Clan, Dragon Family, you know, yeah. same thing. You know, it is so interesting because, you know, when we became acquainted, I was able to share with you, you know, my connection and history with the Dragon Family, who are descendants of the Anunnaki. And then you have these really strong connections with a lot of the Native Americans who are descendants of the Anunnaki. And we see this beginning to unfold about what it's doing for us in the future, for all of us as humans here on the planet. And it's just, it's kind of mind boggling at first until you begin to start connecting all of the dots and you really begin to see that we're going through a shift and change. And you've been able to be in touch with a lot of this. Tell us just a little bit of briefly about also the whole issue of the 432 Hertz of energy and your experience with music in that? Well, you know, that's one of the things with my contact with the Anunnaki is uh, being guided into this information bed of what are the most cosmic harmonious frequencies. And it turns out everything is revolved around 432 hertz. And, uh, you know, for the people who don't know what a hertz is, it's just a way of you know, how many uh, cycles are in a waveform? You know, one hertz would just be one mountain peak, you know. Ten hertz would have ten uh, mountain peaks in one second of the waveform. So all we're saying is that there's 432, uh, you know, mountain peaks within that second if you looked at it at, on scientific equipment. What I can tell you is 432 is the only frequencies that are truly a component of light because 432 squared is the speed of light within 1% accuracy. So that's the key, is we're finding out what frequencies truly are light. And what's interesting also is what that does to us in harmony with each other, what it does to our bodies physically when we listen to music that's at 432 hertz. It's how it creates a harmonious nature between all of us in conjunction with the earth itself because as you have said 432 hertz is the it's, it's the harmonious frequency of the universe also within our planet and so we're beginning to see how all this ties together how it affects us and how even the release of all these funds that have basically been the goal that's belonged to the Anunnaki's and the Dragon family have been the custodians of all those funds for literally thousands of years. And it's now starting to be released to shift and change us, to raise our consciousness as a human race on this planet as we're moving into a new era. And uh, I just find it fascinating how all this falls into place. And that's what we're going to talk about on the radio program tomorrow night. And also for everybody, also Michael's going to be at the workshop in Dallas, Texas this Saturday. And he has about a one to one and a half hour presentation of a, of a, a PowerPoint presentation that will be a part of the workshop. So he'll be with us there. And he's going to be with us also April 23rd in Cleveland, Ohio. And we're tentatively setting up some places for May 7th in my hometown in Sedona. And he's going to be at all those because we're seeing how all of this is gelling together. So 
Anything else you want to share with us uh, before we kind of just finish the interview here, Michael, or I should say the introduction? I'm just looking forward to, uh, you know, it's been fun speaking with you, and it's nice to find someone so enlightened and educated on the subject matter. So I'm looking forward to uh, the interview tomorrow, and we can get into a lot of what we've brought up in depth. Well, we've got two hours, and also we encourage everybody to call in with your questions. So, okay, well, we'll see everybody tomorrow night. And thanks a lot, Michael. We'll see you later. Thank you. Peace. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.